Assalamu alaikum, welcome to lesson number seven. Okay, here we're going to do four letters. So the first letter is like this. It looks a bit like a snake, S, that sound. And if you give a fat on top, we say sa, sa. The next letter, again, it looks similar to this sa. Looks a bit like a snake sound. However, this has three dots on top, a bit like the wool on the back of a sheep. So it gives the sound sha. Sha. So this is different from tha, that three dot one. This has uh, some teeth at the, at the bottom. So it's sha. Okay. So this is sa and sha. Next, we have. Now this sound is a sound that comes from the throat. It looks a bit like a throat, a man with a head. So ah, ah, ah. So from your throat, you pronounce it ah, ah, as though this is the throat of a person, the head ah. And this is a similar shape again. It looks a bit the same, but this time this has a dot on the top. So this dot, it's as though he has phlegm in his nose. So this is pronounced as ra, ra. Right, right like this. Ra. Okay, so it's like saying ga, but ra from the throat, a bit of a phlegmy kind of sound. So sa, sha, a, and ra. Okay, so let's practice this with dhamma then. Okay, so have a go yourselves with dhamma. So su, shu, ru from the throat. And ru with a bit of phlegm. Ru. So su, shu, ru, ru. Okay, let's try it with kasras then. Have a go with each one. Si, shi, ri, ri from the throat, and ri. Again, with from the throat, but with a bit of phlegm. Si, shi, i, ri. Excellent. Okay, let's try now um, putting a few letters together. So, this is the four letters. So, have a, a go yourselves. Try and figure it out how to pronounce them. So, you have a, a more of a practice of how to say each word on your own. Okay, so let's add some vowels onto this. So da. Okay, so da, su, kho, ru. Da, su, kho, and ru. So pr try it, practice it. Da, it's got a fatha. The sa has a dhamma, so su, like a snake. Khu, khu, and ru. And Again, try this on yourselves. So, do, do, si, kha, ru. Do, si, kha, ru. Okay, have a go at these letters as well. Try to recall the sound that these letters make as well as you're going through. This will help you practicing um, how to read as well. So let's add the vowels on now. So have a go at these. Okay, so now this is a ba. And this symbol over here, it's actually a sign to show that you join the previous sound to this letter. So it has the sound of r. So you join the ba plus the r, so it says bar, bar. The previous sound, the vowel is joined to it. Sha and ju. Now let's go back to this uh, ra. This has on top of it this symbol, if you can see, and it looks a bit like a crescent or a half circle. This is called a sukun, a sukun. And what this does, 
is that it allows the previous vowel sound to be attached to it. Bar, it's a joining. So you say bar, bar. Let's try this one again then. Okay, so let's write four more letters again. And remember the, the sounds okay, of each letter. Try to say it to yourselves as you're watching this. So this is hu. And this has a sukun on there, the sa. So you join the hu to the sa. So you say hus, hus, hus. So practice it yourself. Hus. Let's try another two letters then. Okay, again, have a go at this yourselves. So let's put a kasra here. And let's put a sukoon on here. Okay, so have a go. So this is D. And because you're going to join it onto that, the next letter, the sukoon letter, B. Dib. Dib. Say it together. Dib. Dib. So hus and dib. Okay, we'll practice more of these in the coming clips, inshallah. Hope uh, that makes sense. If you have any questions, suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, Subscribe to the channel. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.